I better be in frame, okay? <laughs> Best to be in frame. What's up, Queens and Kings? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Here at Queen Budgets, we are tackling all things financial, from budgeting by paycheck, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, debt payoff, while currently on a low income and a single mom of three. So if that sounds like something that would interest you, I invite you to hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification so you can go ahead and join the Shmoney team. Be like us, getting our Shmoney together, baby. As you guys can tell from the setup already, we doing something different today. I said we doing something different today. Hey, hey, we doing something different today. Period, okay? Gotta switch things up. Let me really quickly just give a shout out to Free to Fly Budgeting over here on YouTube. Hey girl, okay? She told me about a movement that she was having and she asked me, did I wanna participate? And y'all know, I love participating. I am movement. It is a community of support, encouragement, empowerment, healing, and enlightenment. Yes! High vibes only, okay? Positivity. Everyone is tackling something different. So my part is beauty, of course. Y'all know I just love everything, beauty, all things beauty. So I'm actually going to ramble, of course, but I'm gonna show you guys how I um, create a simple set of press on nails. So let's get it, let's go. We start out with these press on nails. So these are the natural color. Okay, sorry y'all, my soft tape measure was with my Cricut materials. So what you would do is you would take a soft tape measure, but you would use it on millimeter side, and then you would measure from one side of your nail to the other side, and however many millimeters that is, that's how much your nail is. And then the millimeters convert into numbers, which I'm not going to get all into that. But if you tell a person who makes nails your millimeters, then you'll be able to figure out your size. Now, if you do want to know what the sizing is, you can comment below and I will put a chart or I can post a chart on the community tab that shows the breakdown of the numbers if you ever did decide that you want to make some nails for yourself. Take a cute little stand. I've seen some people use like these kind of like sticks that you make, um... What's the, you put the peppers in the um, chicken, uh, shish kebabs. Yeah, the sticks that you use for that. Just some poster, uh, poster putty or poster tack or something. Uh, I use this color because this color has a really strong grip. I know some people like the clear because you don't get a chance to see it through the nail, but I've been doing this so long that I really, I don't even see the blue. I like look right past. You would just take like a little piece of this and ball it up into like a little small ball. Set that right there. And then I had already start buffing the nails, but I wanted to show you guys how I do this. So at the tip of the nails, it's always gonna be like this little thing sticking out. I think that's how like they make them and then they break them off or something. So you always wanna make sure that you take um, a file and just gently file it back and forth and make your end straight otherwise the end of your nail won't be like straight or whatever. So I don't know how to explain this, y'all. <laughs> so then you take a buffer and then you just buff all of the uh, shiny off of the nail. I don't know, what you, the glossy part on the nail, the shiny part of the nail. And then I'm so unprepared, y'all. I don't have no paper towels up here or nothing. I normally would not use one of these to wipe the nails off. I usually would use a lint-free uh, wipe. But because uh, for the purpose of the video, sis, it was unprepared a little bit, y'all. Don't fault me, okay? So you just... And then plus, it's, it's not bad, but it can put lint on your nail depending on what you use. So using lint-free wipes would be the best. I just take the alcohol and just wipe each nail so I can wipe any of the powdery residue from, you know, filing it. So we got, we got the nails. So 
Then what you would do is, of course you would do this for 10 nails, but we doing five for the purpose of the video. You would take a base coat. But when I find a product that I like, I stick with it. The name of this is M-I-Z-H-S-E. And they do have like other colors. So then I take a thin layer and I just, you know, take my time making sure it's not flooding up at the cuticle. And then I'll take and turn it over and use it on the second nail because you don't need much. You don't want your base coat too heavy because if your base coat is too heavy, it's just going to mess up the whole nail situation, okay? It's, everything's not going to dry correctly. And you can have some major, like, peeling. Like, you know, the, the, the polish is not supposed to peel up at all. So you might have some peeling or some lifting or some bubbling. So making sure you get that good foundation is very important. I hope that I am in frame, y'all. I would put it in the lamp to cure it for uh, some people say 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and all that. Y'all, I be sitting there, do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. I done cured it for 130 seconds. So, as long as you cure it for a reasonable amount of time, that's what we're going with. Nobody said I was a nail technician. <laughs> no. no, but I just usually cure it until I feel like it's good enough. I don't have a specific time just like with the base coat you're going to start with a thin coat and don't worry if the first coat it looks streaky and you can see through it because that's the purpose that's because you're doing a thin coat but once you go back in and do the second coat it's going to look a lot much better and also make sure you get the tip right here okay so then I would do this for all of the nails. Okay, so I'm on the last one. Okay, so then we would cure it. Okay, so then here is your pink, and I'm going to show you how I would ombre the nails. So I would get a little dish or something to put some alcohol in, and then I have a brush. I actually got this brush from the art store, um, the arts and crafts store, Michaels. So um i basically just needed a brush that was flat and then it was kind of like thin and feathered at the end so i had a really hard time finding a brush for this so i had to like really search for this brush maybe one third of the way down the nail i would paint the darker pink And there are many ways to ombre. I have just found this to be the easiest for me. And make sure you get your tip. And just like with the first coat of the light pink, this first coat is not going to be what you want it to be, but you're getting there. So then you take this brush and you want to kind of not go in at an angle. You want to kind of keep your brush flat with the nail. 
and you want to take some of the product and drag it up like drag it and then you want to take the brush and kind of tap where the line is kind of like you can really tell see like this is our first coat for the ombre and then what you would do is you would cure that let me move this nail polish because i do not want my nail polish near the lamp and be careful with your brush because if your brush has the polish on it and it's in front of the lamp it will cure and mess up the bristles so you just do a quick dip in the alcohol with your um brush and then you take the brush and you just wipe the excess off I do this all the time because I do not I've messed up a lot of brushes like that I'm gonna go in and basically do the same thing like a second coat and then you'll have your ombre nail the biggest thing that doing these nails have done it has saved me a boatload of money like I literally would go to the nail shop and spend at least a hundred and seven dollars or a hundred and something dollars every month I do my own pedicures so then you just go in you do the same thing drag and and lightly drag it because if you do it too much it'll like put like it'll just mess it up I don't know how to explain it but it'll just mess it up if you like if you hit it too hard it's like it'll carve out a big gash in the polish like I don't even know how to explain it but you see so and then you just tap it and cure so and then what I would do is I would simply top coat it And again, just like with the base coat, the same thing with the top coat. You want to do a thin thin top coat. You do not want your top coat dripping over the side. You don't want it pooling up at the cuticle or the press on. Once the top coat on, this is actually a no wipe um, top coat. So I actually don't have to wipe it with alcohol. Be careful though, because some gels, they, they you, that's, if it don't say no wipe, then that means you have to take like a little bit, a little... Um, a lint free wipe and then you would just you know use some alcohol and you would wipe over the nail like this let's take them off of the stand I just like blinged out nails but I just wanted to show you guys something simple so if you made it all the way to the end of the video I love you I appreciate you I'm so happy to be part of this I am movement if you're not subscribed to the channel baby I don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification 
Also, if you would like to join the I Am movement, you can contact Michelle at Free to Fly Budgeting. I will link her information in my description box. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And make sure you stay positive all week long.